Questions? Yeah, I think the last time we talked to you was on the UVA game. Yep. What do you think you've improved on since then? Uh, really just the, my knowledge of the defense, you know, that was my first time really getting out there and getting some snaps in the field in the real game. So uh, just getting out there, being able to play, getting in, in the fire, as you know, um, just learning, uh, being able to play faster. That's probably been the biggest growth since then. How much of an influence has your father been? What you say? How much of an influence has your father been? Uh, I mean, he calls me every day after practice, tells me what, what I need to keep improving on. You know, he, he played ball, he watches film, so he, know, he knows what's going on out there with the schemes and everything. So, yeah, every day just talking to him, learning from him, learning the ways of how, how to get to that next level, you know. Um, he's been a really big influence on me and my, my football game. How, how different is it that you're a linebacker and he was a lineman? Yeah, uh, I mean, that's what everyone gets. They say, why are you so small compared to your dad? But uh, <laughs> no, nah, my brothers are all pretty big boys. But um, yeah, he it's really good learning from an offensive guy because he can teach you the techniques of what they're trying to do. So it helps you be able to defeat it, you know. Um, as a defensive guy, you can learn how they're trying to pass it, certain, t certain tendencies they give away. So those things have been very helpful. Is this one of those deals where you had a football in your crib at like two years yeah. old? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I got four. You had no so, choice. Yeah, no choice, no choice. It was either football or basketball. So, yeah, ever since the young and I've had a ball in my hands. Me and my brother's been playing in the backyard, the living room. So, yeah, it's been, I've just been ball since, since the young and. How much have you learned from Peyton, especially this year, being out there more on defense now? Yeah, um, Peyton, as you know, me and Peyton are really close. Um, he's got great knowledge for the game. Uh, he teaches me a lot of. A lot of the smaller details within the game that I can see, like within formations and stuff before the, before the ball snaps. So Peyton's been really big this year, helping me. Like as I've starting to come into this role as playing more, he's helped me a lot. Uh, just learning the scheme and calming down and just playing ball. So he's been a big help. Okay, and how impactful has it been to have Tony Gibson as your defensive coordinator? Just what's some of the knowledge that he's shared to you as a player? Yeah, um, I love Coach Gibson. Um, he, he's my type of guy. The way he coaches the game, he's, he makes it very easy for me to learn because he knows how to coach me as a player. He understands that. So I think that's been very, very big for me. Um, how he approaches me when he's trying to coach me and teach me things is the way I, li I like to be approached, and I think that helps a lot. We see the serious side of Coach Gibson. Is yeah. there a joking side to him? Is oh, there yeah, a story yeah. that you have? He's, uh, he's very loving. Yeah, yeah I'm sure y'all see the coaching side a lot. But um, yeah, went off the field, um, in the locker room, stuff like that. Yeah, he's all jokes. He loves to have fun. So yeah. He talked about just how mobile Virginia Tech's quarterback is. You know, when you're practicing against Brennan and, and his mobility, how much do you think that's going to help you on Saturday? A lot, yeah. Um, that's one of the, the big things this week we were focusing on. And, uh, you know, B.A. can run the ball very well. So going against guys like that in practice definitely helps. Working on contain, tracking the hip and stuff like that is very helpful. How have you seen this linebacker room kind of grow together, you know, this season? Between yeah. you and, and Jalen Scott, you know, is really yeah. cool on this year. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, like I, like I said, those guys have been here. Me coming in as a younger guy. Uh, They've really taken me in under their wing, and I'm very grateful for that and thankful for them. And uh, all, all four of us, me, Betty, Jay Scott, and Peyton, we've all grown together very tight and very close-knit group. And uh, I love those dudes and happy to play with them. Do you, oh, do you feel like you would have made some of the progress that you have without those guys? Uh, yeah, no, nah, not really, honestly. Um, be, having those older guys and the, the experience they've had as playing already, um, and the knowledge they all have for the game. They're very smart linebackers, and I, I feel like without those guys, I wouldn't have been able to jump into this role as quick because I wouldn't have learned the scheme as quick. And I think being out there playing with them, certain things, like I'm, I'm a little bit slower on, but since I have them out there, it helps me a lot, and that helps me speed up. So, yeah, credit to all those guys. They're a huge help. After all these games now, how confident as a defensive unit now, <clears throat> excuse me, when you go on the road and, and say, hey, uh, we can go, up, go to the games and – whole teams down and get a win for the team. Yeah, I mean, we prepare the same way every week. We come out. Uh, that's our goal every week, shut teams out. Why would you, why would you want anything less, you know? So, um, yeah, like having those the past two games, holding them to six, has really, really built our confidence. And it's something we, we, it, uh, we expect every week as a defense. That's what we expect. So we don't expect anything less. So that's been a huge help uh, holding those teams down. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to keeping it up.